All right, so now we're going to program the trailer robot. So for the trailer robot, it's another remote control robot. So we're going to be having the basics of it are going to be the same as um, the sucker robot. But now we're going to have the ability to have it speed up and slow down using the F1 and F2 buttons. So that way you can actually control how fast you're driving your robot. So let's get started on that. So the first thing we'll need to do is just like normal, is we need to include the Smart Inventor library. And then the setup, we need to put in the uh, TV remote con use, so that way we know we're using the remote control, and the DC motor use, so that way it knows to get both of those all set up and ready to go. Um, and then hopefully you guys have watched the last one about the soccer robot, so you know how to do the remote control. We just read the remote control and save it, like what we've been doing with all our sensors and everything. So now we're going to go through do our if. Um, it's going to look very similar to last time. We check to see if the key data is equal to either key U or key D, L, R, etc. And we look to see if we need to, how we need to have it drive. Um, one minor difference that we have is instead of having it do a turn for the left and the right, we're going to have it curve. The reason for that, if you think about like if the robot were, has the big trailer behind it now, if we were to actually do a turn in place like what we've been doing, that trailer would kind of swing around and it wouldn't look like it's driving right. So what we do is we have the one motor turn and the other one not, and it makes a curve. And so then it looks like the trailer kind of falls around behind it and it drives like an actual car does. So that's the reason we have that. And then at the very end we'll do an else that has to stop. Um, now what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and start with this chunk of the code. So we've gotten the logic for driving the robot, so we're going to go ahead and plug in the parts for the motors. This time we're going to do things a little bit differently. Usually we'd just like right here where we have the speed, we'd just type in like 50 or something and just call it good. But this time we're going to use a variable called speed. And what we're going to do is we're going to change that so that way we can increase or decrease the speed of the robot. Um, without changing the rest of it. So since we are using a variable speed, we're going to have to define that. So up at the top, we're going to do int speed, just like what we do for creating the variables, and we're going to start out equaling 50. So that way, right in the first starts the program, we'll be driving at 50, which is kind of your average speed to use. Um, you might be asking about like this plus zero at the end. Um, I left that there for you guys to adjust, because um, oftentimes the robot doesn't drive perfectly straight. So you might need to adjust it a little bit and maybe like add 10 to one side or subtract 5 from the other, something like that, in order to get your robot driving perfectly straight. So I just left that there for you guys to see and adjust on your own. Um, so now we can go through and we're going to do it this way, using the speed and then the pluses for all of the directions. So for forward and backwards, it'll look like this. Then for the curving, what we're going to do, if we want to curve left, we will have the right motor move forward and the left motor will just be loose so that way it doesn't completely stop it'll let it coast and this way when it turns it'll look much better and it'll drive like you know an actual truck would sort of look um, so we'll do that for the left and the right and then for stopping what we're going to do is we're going to have it also go to loose so that way it kind of coasts to a stop and again it looks much more natural so we've gotten the code set up for remote controlling the robot. So you could download this try it and it should go. However, now we're going to work on figuring out how to do the speed up and speed and slow down. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another if else setup. So this first one we're going to see if key data equals key F1. So that's going to be if that top left key is pressed. If we're if it is pressed, we're going to speed up. Then we're going to do else if the key data equals key F2, then we're going to slow down. So this is just kind of the, you know, like what we've doing for the others. We have kind of the basic setup of our ifs, so that way we can fill in the code. So we've gotten this kind of setup. So to speed up, what we're going to do, all right, so now we're, what we need to do is we need to check to make sure before we actually increase the speed that we are going to increase the speed beyond what our maximum speed is. So we're first going to check to make sure that speed 
is below uh, 90. If it is, then we can go ahead and speed up. Uh, so the code for having it speed up is we'll say speed is equal to speed plus 20. Um, so those of you who have taken like algebra and stuff, you're like, this doesn't make sense. But it's not something like that. What it is is we're saying that speed is now going to be equal to whatever speed equal to earlier plus 20. So this will increase it by 20. Um, so now that we've increased the speed, one thing that we need to do is we need to put in a delay here because what will end up happening is when you press it, it goes through the loop so fast that it will just keep cycling through and the speed will just go up really, really fast and you won't actually be able to control the speed. So we're going to put in a short delay here just so that way it doesn't go up you know, instantly, but it takes a little bit of time so that way you can actually adjust the speed. Uh, if you want to speed up faster or slower, you could adjust this number. This is just kind of a number that looks like a nice number to me. So now we kind of got things all set up for the speeding up, we're going to work on the slowing down. So just like the what we did for the speeding up, we need to make sure that we don't slow down too much. So we're going to check to make sure that speed is greater than 30 before we actually slow down. Then to do the slow down code, it's going to look just like what we did for the speed up code, except for this time we're going to subtract 20. So this way it slows it down by 20 every time. And the reason that we picked 30 here is because if we take away, our, as long as we're greater than 30, we know that we don't completely stop by taking away 20. Um, again, we need to put in the delay just to make sure it doesn't go too fast. So now you should be able to try out this code and it should let you drive around, speed up, slow down, all that.